Hello everyone, let's take a look at setting up Lava through Lama CPP Python using the OpenAI compatible server. I'm going to be setting this up on my Apple Silicon Mac, but follow along, the process should be very similar for other platforms. Let's start by setting up a Python Conda environment. Keep in mind that if you're on an Apple Silicon Mac, you want to make use of a Conda environment and Python builds that is compatible for ARM64 architecture. So in this case, they're recommending that you use Miniforge. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Okay, now let's switch to the terminal. Okay, now I'm in an empty folder. I'll start by installing Conda and I'm gonna use Python 3.9. Give it a minute to install. Okay, then let's activate it. Okay, now we're in. And the first thing we can do now is install Llama CPP Python using pip. Back on the repo, if you scroll down, there are some environment variables you can set to enable hardware acceleration. Uh, and because we're on a Mac, we are paying attention to this metal one. But please take a look uh, for other platforms and hardware. Okay, just jump back to the terminal. So here is the pip command. So we have the metal flag set, and we also have dash u in case you have a version installed where it'll upgrade to the latest version. And we also don't want to do a cache directory. So we'll give this a go. All right, everything's looking good. Clear my screen. At this point, we can run the OpenAI compatible server. And after that, we can write a little script to interface with that server. So let's start by starting the server. To run the server, this is the command that we're gonna have to use. So as you can see, this is the actual quantized model of Lava in a GGUF format. And this is the actual multimodal projector file for Lava as well. And you're telling that this is a Lava server that we want to run. And this depends on your hardware, but I'm saying I want to use one layer of GPU and also use eight threads on my CPU. So we'll have to go get these two files from Hugging Face. So let's do that now. Let's go to the Files and Versions tab, and here you'll see two different versions of the Lava model, 4-bit and 5-bit. If you're not sure, you can just stick with the 4-bit one. And here is also the multimodal projector file. So download this, as well as one of these guys. One of these guys, sorry. I'll put a link in the description, but keep in mind that this is the 7 billion model, but there is also a 13 billion model. Okay, let's go back to the terminal. Once you're done downloading, make sure you put in the proper path for these two files, either relative or absolute. I just put them into a folder called lava in my case. And before I forgot, before we can actually run this command, we have to install another package using pip. So let's do that first. So this is actually installing the server component of Llama CPP Python. All right, now we can actually run that command we worked on. Once it's booted up, the API will be available on localhost 8000. And keep in mind, you have to keep this process running. Okay, now we're ready to write a small script in Python to interact with this API and get some inferencing on images. So for our script, we're going to be making use of OpenAI. Uh, remember that the server that we started is a OpenAI compatible server, meaning it could act as a OpenAI replacement. So as you can see, even though we're using OpenAI's library, instead of pointing to OpenAI, we're pointing to the server that we started using Llama CPP Python. And because this is not a real 
uh, OpenAI backend. We don't really need to provide a real API key. And model, we put GPT-4 vision preview. And for the messages, you can change uh, the image path here. Right now, I have it pointing to a GTA 6 image. And you can also mess with the prompt here. Uh, so right now, I just have it so that it describes the image in detail and also maybe list out some of the objects that's seen in the image. And lastly, just print out the, the actual message from the, the model. So let's save this and give it a run. Uh, before you can actually run that script, we have to install the OpenAI library. So let me open up a new tab here and also activate Conda first. Okay, good to go. And now we can run the script. Maybe we'll see some logs on the, the server. Yeah, we do. So the, the time it takes, the token generation will depend on your own uh, hardware. So let's see what it produces here. I think the, the token generation was fairly quick and the description seems accurate as well. So I think that was a success. One other thing you might want to do with this script is perhaps instead of passing in a URL, maybe you want to pass in a file from your local. So let's see how we can do that. So I made some adjustments to the script. So now I import base64 and wrote a little function that takes a path to an image and converts it to a base64 string. And here we actually call the function with the image called image.jpg. And instead of passing in a URL, you pass in the actual image data, which is the base64 string. So this should let you use local images. And we can test it out. Should have the same result as before. As you can see, it works as expected and has very similar results to when we passed in the URL. So that's pretty much it. Give it a try. Hope you guys built some cool stuff uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.